So right, what's up guys, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. So anyway, finally, I'm going up against Cleo, or rather, we have been battling for a lot of times actually, on different kind of battles. And this one was a rather good one. I actually decided to, like I said in my last video, to stop using Victini, and stop using pokes that I think are not unfair to the UU, but are really, really simple, and uh, pretty much makes me very predictable. So I decided to use a few of my older, like, RU and NU pokes, because they are actually more bulkier than a lot of UU pokes. So I still use UU, uh, Empoleon, and, uh, well, my Ampharos are most definitely UU pokes. So I kind of got into that, that I think a good way to use UU pokes and has, is to have them in combination, not use only UU, because then you're very predictable, consider how much there are, there's not a lot of pokes you actually can choose from that tier. So anyway, look at Cleo's team here. She is using actually just almost a fully like lower tier team too, with the only like uh, exception being Mew, Kingdra, and Crocodile. And this is a very interesting battle because I did think we had both like uh, our good share moments here, and it played out really well. Uh, so I enjoyed it, and I think this is one of the better battles I got this week. So yeah, let's actually get to it. So right, in the beginning here, I was kind of hoping for her to go for a Vivillion, so I'm just gonna go for Gore guys myself, knowing I don't have to fear anything she actually brings to me. She wants to bring the Crocodile, so I'm going for a will o -Wisp here. I know I can't really take a Crunch, but I kind of have to risk it in this boss. I don't want this thing to go Rampage with the Moxie and Scarf boost there. So at least now it's dented because I did hit with the will o -Wisp. It would be real often I miss, actually. So yeah, I just I get that I go and get a free turn here. So I'm just gonna go for a sword stance here. You probably expect the ability to come in and just hit it. So obviously I don't. So I try to set up and I go for a knockoff. You know, there's really no I will take the, take it down to the sash anyway. So yeah, the bug boss will do a, a lot of damage there. Then like I said, there's really nothing I can do. Uh, I had to accept that. So anyway, Crocodile's back here. I don't want this guy to get the Moxie boost. So I'm going back to my Gore guys just to, well, wall it. And I wall it pretty well. Um, even though she gets a crit here later or at this turn, it still won't do as much damage. It's it's really dented at this point. So I'm gonna leech off, you know, getting back some recovery. Uh, I do expect her to switch out this turn, so I'm going to switch into my Yes, my Dino, and it was kind of a bad switch in because here is uh, Embo, and I do see the superpower coming my way, so I have to switch out. So I'm going to decide to do switch or to sack Brapion, and she shows me that's a special set. Yeah, it's a special set Embo. I did not see that one coming. So anyway, I know that uh, my Flygon, <laughs> my Ampharos can deal with that because of the Dragon Typhon. So I'm just going to go for a safe Dragon Pulse here. Like, there is no way for, it, for her to take any of those hits. It, she doesn't have anything that resists it. So, anyway, going for like Selgo there. I did expect it to go for either for a Bug Bus or, you know, getting a U turn. So, I'm just gonna go for Power Gem, hope for the best. And, well, that didn't work, obviously. So, Mew is here, and Mew can use Metronome. Yeah, so go for a Vacuum Wave. It wasn't <laughs> it doesn't do that much, but hey, it's a Vacuum Wave. So, anyway, she thinks I'm gonna go for another Thunderbolt, so I should go for Transform. But I decide to do, um, I'm just in a good position that I can set up agility, and then now I'm faster. So yeah, she probably could have taken a Thunderbolt uh, with that transform, which I would work in her favor with Retaliate with Dragon Pulse, but I got that well. So anyway, Axelgo will show to be 4 points faster than me and go for Final Gambit and take me out. Yeah, that, that just happened. I was so like surprised there, like no way, it took me out. So yeah, now I have nothing real to take on uh, her Kingdra. So I'm going to um, deal with this um, Embor rather well actually. There's really nothing you can do because I'm special defensive. Uh, so she's gonna decide to switch out to get a free switch into Kingdra, which is her last Pokemon. And I'm just gonna go for a knock off her, expecting her to go for a focus energy. So I at least get that uh, scope lens off, so I'm in a good position. So I'm gonna go for a Scald afterwards. It might seem kind of weird, but I was kind of betting on the hacks there because... Um, two crits is going to kill me for sure. And obviously that crit did well over 50%. Uh, yeah. 
Kingdra is a real threat actually. It's very surprising how good it really works. So yeah, she gets another crit off there and yeah. Wow. So anyway, I'm gonna go to my gore guys there and there's really nothing she can do. She needs to get a crit to get um, a crit to take me out and that will sadly not happen. Um, so uh, yeah, this will be GG. So thank you Claire for this game. I mean, I'm really glad that we got a battle here that actually was worth uploading. I had a lot of battles with her which she actually won to me like very very easily or was the other way around. So I was really glad we got this battle that was a little gimmicky and you know didn't include uh, my Victini. I haven't really used it as much lately but it is as I said before there's very like it's a very high relevance that well the battle goes on for too long and they are not really fun to upload. I do like this like three four minutes battle up speeded you know at most like 30 40 turns at most and that is not gonna happen too often and I kinda realize that that is like if that is like the worst part of UU that it's all about like walling uh, <laughs> your opponent and when you lose your first or second poke there's everything going downhill from that part the second and first poke dies I mean you can be in a battle when you go for 20 minutes and it takes, yeah, it takes around 20 minutes for the first one to go down, and after that, it takes the battle is like ended at five minutes later, because you can only wall so far with a lot of your pokes. So yeah, I think kind of you is like that. I'm gonna do like uh, a video in the end of this, maybe tomorrow, where I'll try to explain what I thought, thought about you. You, I, I have enjoyed it. I can tell you guys that far. Um, not a big fan of the longer battles, but I mean, I'm I'm pretty guilty of that myself because I'm I'm playing such a defensive playstyle. So yeah, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this battle. You know, do the usual thing, leave a like and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, well, bye.